Hey everyone, this is my latest project that I've been working on. This is the uh, Quantum Trifecta. It's a tricopter, only three blades this time. Two motors here in the front and one in the back. Now the special thing about the tricopter of course is that it has a tilting motor in the back and that's driven by a servo underneath here. I've built this as a FPV camera ship, so there is a camera on the front here, this is a high definition camera, Mobius, then this comes off and it transmits via this transmitter on the back, you can see where that red light is, that's a 200 milliwatt video transmitter, transmits it in 5.8 gigahertz uh, using this little dome antenna and that passes the signal through to my goggles which also has a receiver antenna and I can put these goggles on and fly as if I'm on board the tricopter it has a NAS32 controller board inside here which uh, is, provides the gyroscopic balancing as well as the accelerometer so it keeps the, the tricopter level. On the top here I've put a BEC. Now uh, I've done that so that I could power the Mobius camera which runs on 5 volts as well as the NAS board as well as the, trans, uh, the receiver all from the, all from the main flight battery which is here which gets strapped in under here. So the BEC converts the well, 10 to 13 volts from coming from this battery into 5 volts for those systems to use. I've got a FreeSky 4 channel uh, receiver here which I've converted to use PPM so I only need one wire for all the signals. Uh, that's CPPM I've used. The video transmitter underneath runs on 12 volts so that's just tied into the main power distribution board which is underneath here. The, I've got twin antennas for the FreeSky receiver. That ensures that the antennas, this, this uh, device here ensures that the antennas stay at 90 degrees to each other and ensures the best possible signal. And of course the video signal is sent and received via um, circularly polarized antennas. Just the actual build itself, this is a baby beast, these are baby beast motors uh, from Hobby King and I've installed kind of rotating props on the front the the, the uh, propellers rotate outwards so this one rotates like this and this one rotates like this provide the best possible balance all the props are self uh, have self tightening nuts so the resistance from the prop actually helps to tighten the nut which um, will ensure that you don't have props that go flying off so you see those green lights that those are the ESC circuits. The ESCs um, are the Afro ESCs from Hobby King, 12 amps. Um, so they fit quite nicely and work quite well. I haven't flown this um, model as yet, so this is just a preview. Um, we'll be flying this pretty soon, giving it a maiden flight and getting it balanced out and tuned. Oh, the cool thing about this tricopter is that it folds up. So there's a little button you can push here allows you to fold the arms back. Just get that. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it just folds up and then this rear motor that just pushes in. And so it becomes really quite a compact little device that you can carry around in a bag or a backpack and just take out anywhere and have a have a little fly. It's very small. It's only about a foot uh, diameter. So quite small and just lock this leg in place there we go that's locked back forward again uh, pretty cool device um, I really like the design went together quite easy a couple of issues that I'll touch on for if you're building this the the rear gears here there's a shaft that runs through and that, that this gear sits on some some people have reported that that for them was really rough um, and it didn't move very easily you can see mine moves pretty easily what I found though was that even though it did mine didn't have that binding issue where the gears bound up on the shaft it did um, 
eventually bind up after a little while. What I did to fix that was to put a little bit of uh, grease on the shaft. So I'd suggest uh, always do that when you're putting this gear section here together. Uh, make sure there's lots of grease on the shaft and then that way you'll have a nice smooth rotation. Oops, I've just armed it. Okay, okay it's disarmed. Alright, goes together quite easy, quite a sturdy build, uh, quite solid. Plenty of room for all your wires to put everything in. Other than that, no real issues. Oh, one other thing, if you are using a Mobius, let me just switch this off before we can go any further. Um, if you are using a Mobius, you'll notice that the output cable for the Mobius does extend, let me just grab this, does extend back a little bit. So it's going back here and that can obstruct the battery. So you may want to get the 90 degree USB cable, which puts the you know the cable to the side rather than coming straight back. Because of this pushing the you know um, obstructing the battery, I've had to push the battery further back, and that may affect the CG. So I do have a 90 degree cable coming. Um, I've ordered one, but it's going to take a couple of couple more days for that to arrive. Um, so that's the only other thing. If you are using a Mobius and you're using it for output of the video signal and you want that to go to your transmitter and you know obviously be sent to your goggles or your screen or whatever make sure you get the 90 degree cable for the Mobius. I'll be transmitting video in uh, standard VGA um, back to my goggles here so that I can see what's going on but it will be able to obviously it's a Mobius so it will be able to record in HD on board so it can view the recording later. Um, that's really all there is about this Tricopter, it's pretty straightforward. There was a bit of soldering involved to get all the wires in. Other than that, not 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 very difficult. Nice little device, so should be able to get it up in the air soon and then I'll make another video of, of the uh, maiden flight. Cheers.